Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Cecilia Esparza and this is Secret Crochet Corner. On this occasion, I'll show you how to make this original and beautiful table runner. Let's see what materials you'll need and how it's done. To make the smaller piece I'm making on this video, I used two different colors of DK cotton yarn. Each ball has 100 meters and I used uh, a bit less than one ball for the main color and around 60 meters for the secondary color. You will also need a 4 millimeter hook. To begin, we'll make a row of foundation single crochets. Make around 40 now and later you can add more as you need them. For a small table runner, I'm going to need 96 foundation single crochets. For the bigger one in the picture at the beginning of the video, I used 288. Later I'll show you how to calculate how many stitches you need for the size of table runner that you want. Chain 2, insert the hook in the first chain and pull a loop. Yarn over and pull a loop through the first loop on the hook. That's your first foundation chain made. Now yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's your single crochet made. From now on you insert your hook in that chain that you make first. one loop, then pull a loop through the first loop on your hook, yarn over and through both loops. That's your second foundation single crochet. And continue in the same way. I've already made around 42 foundation single crochets and I'll add more later as I need them. The row has a right side and a wrong side. Make sure you start working with the right side facing. You'll attach the yarn in the first foundation single crochet. For this project we'll use the extended double crochet and this is how you make it. Yarn over, insert the hook in the indicated stitch, and pull a loop. Yarn over and pull a loop through the first loop on the hook only. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops, two loops on your hook, Yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. In the next stitch, make one extended double and one chain. Make another extended double and chain one in each of the next 14 foundation single crochets. I'm working my last extended double. Don't forget to work the chain at the end. This is what it looks like. It's the open curve section and counting the initial chain 5 you should have 16 stitches and 16 chain 1 spaces. Now we're going to make the closed curve. In the next stitch, start working 
an extended double, but don't finish it. Stop once you have the last two loops on your hook. We are going to close four extended doubles together. Skip the next stitch and repeat. Work one extended double until you have now three loops on the hook. And continue two more times. Skip the next stitch, start the fourth extended double, but don't finish it. Now you should have five loops on your hook. And we are going to close them all together. For the second half of the closed curve, skip the next stitch and repeat the same we've just done. We now have one open curve and one closed curve. Next we'll work eight extended doubles. To begin, skip the next stitch and work one extended double in each of the next eight foundation single crochets. I have my eight stitches and now we have to make an open curve, same as we did at the beginning. Starting in the next stitch, work one extended double and one chain 16 times. Right, so I've got my open curve and next we are going to make another section of straight extended doubles without chains, without skipping. We'll make 8 more than we made before, so 16. Starting in the next stitch, make 16 extended doubles. We have our 16 stitches, and now we'll make a closed curve, just like this one. Start in the next stitch and work as before. Okay, so this is what we have so far. For this video, I'm making a small table runner. So 16 stitches is the maximum width my piece is going to have. From now on, I'll start mirroring what we did before and reducing its size. So here we made eight stitches just before the middle. And after the closed curve on this side, we are going to make eight stitches again and start reducing. Skip the next stitch and start working your eight extended doubles. I already have my eight stitches and next we have to work an open curve, starting in the next stitch, just as we did before. After finishing the open curve, we'll work the last closed curve.
this point you can fasten off by making a chain, pull and leave a, a long tail so you can sew in the ends comfortably. Do the same with the foundation single crochets. Make a chain, pull it tight gently and uh, cut that yarn. So now we'll start all over again, this time working in the bottom of our foundation single crochets. We'll flip our work, attach the yarn to the first stitch and repeat from the beginning. Just like before, start working your first open curve. Chain 5, it counts as your first extended double plus one chain, and work one extended double and one chain in each of the next 15 stitches. I finished my first open curve, and next I have to work the closed curve, same as before. After that, the eight extended doubles, followed by another open curve, and then the 16 extended doubles, and so forth. Continue until finishing the last open curve. I've worked my last open curve of the project, and next I have to work the last closed curve. To do this last one, we are going to do something slightly different. We'll skip the next stitch before starting the closed curve. So start working, skipping the next stitch, and then work the closed curve as usual. You can now fasten off and sew in the loose ends. In the next part we'll see how to sew the sides together and how to work around the edges. Mm -hmm. 